Got it? Yeah, good. So, sir, it's 1928. The country is prosperous, and Herbert Hoover is about to become president. How did you feel about Herbert Hoover becoming president? Very bad. Could you tell me why? Well, see, why he, he was the lousiest president we ever had. Him and Carter. You know, Carter, right. the other president. Um, after the crash, when the stock market collapsed yeah. in, in October of 1929, the country went into a big economic decline. Yeah. What was it like for you when the country started going into this depression? Uh, very bad, I don't know. Um, very bad. Depression, nobody had nothing. Selling apples on the corner at that time. What did you do at that time? Me, what I'd done at that time, I was done a little uh, painting, house painting, making a dollar, dollar, two dollars a day. A dollar a day, I think, I was making. Um, did you find it hard to make ends meet? Very much. Can you, can you tell me what it was like to have to live constantly with having a hard time making ends meet? It's hard. You know what I mean? What what the hell could you get for a dollar a day? You know. Um. So how did you after the stock market crash? Did life change for you? Did life become harder? Yeah, sure. It always got harder at that time. Can you describe how it got harder? Did you get less work, that sort of thing? Yeah. So, so tell me about that. Yeah, less work. Uh, you know, you work a dollar a day, you know. Uh, okay. Um, what made you join the BEF? What? What what made you join the BEF? The bonus march. Yes. What what did you what caused you to join the BEF? Depression. I don't know. Uh, you know, because of the down the legion where I belong, we're gonna go down and get, try to get the money. Um. You you said you belong to a legion post. Um. Can you describe what, what you would talk about with the other fellows uh, when it came to the bonus? Sure, we were going down there and try to get the bonus, you know. And I was a delegate, and we all talked to senators, congressmen for the bonus. Okay. Um, how, can you describe your journey to Washington? Yeah. How, how did you get together with other people and go to Washington? We went down with cars, then we got down so far, then we got off and we started a march. Now, you, you described it with more detail to me. You heard about it at the, at the Legion, right? Yeah. Uh, could you tell me about that? You first heard about it at the Legion, and then you decided to go. Yeah. We all, de we all decided to go, you know. Can you start out by saying, uh, you know, I first heard about it at the American Legion post? Yeah, we heard about it and we heard, of, you know, different in the newspapers too, you know, about the bonus. And so then what did you do? We went down there with carloads of trucks, some guys in cars, you know, some guys on motorcycles, some guys on bicycles. Some guys on roller skates, you know, to come from all over the country. Guys with no shoes on, ragged down clothes, look like a bunch of bums down there. Um, you said that you stopped about three miles outside of Washington. A couple and then of you miles, in. yeah. A couple, not three miles, maybe a mile, you know. Then we marched in. Can you describe the march into Washington that day? Yeah, sure. 
How, how did you do it? You got out all, all of your cars? And, and trucks, whatever. Could you start again and just and, tell me? Um, yeah, we all grew, grouped up and we marched in. I had a leader, I think we had a, a band there too, going in. Marching like a real parade, you know what I mean? Yeah. Anything else you recall about that day? That you first saw Washington? That you first went into Washington? Yeah. Tell me about all your impressions that day. I don't know what you mean about my, my impressions. Well, uh, can we talk for a second? Um, <clears throat> so, Tell me about your feelings that day when you were marching into Washington. Uh, you know that you were going to petition them and you were excited. Tell me about all the, how you were excited and why. Why? I told you why we wanted to get the bonus, excited, everything. You know what I mean? I don't. Can you tell me again? Can you? <laughs> You got me crazy now. You got me crazy. <laughs> excited, we want to get the bonus. And all excited, you know. <clears throat> Jeez. Um, can you describe anybody that you met along the way? Were people excited to see you along the way as you were traveling to Washington? Yeah, I mean, even the people in Washington were all excited. The cops and everybody, they come in there, try to bust the cell all up through little gas or something, I don't know. Uh, you know, different things. Then the, the, then the chief of police come down and he said, look, you guys will be, be here for a long time before you're going to get the bonus. They went down there, 28, 20, and we got the bonus in 1932. Right? No, actually it was 1936, but you got turned down in 32. Turned down in 32, yeah. Um, can you describe the camps for me where you stayed? How did you live in, in the camps? We oh. had cots there, we were living, you know, in a tent. Some had shacks there, had kitchens all over the place. Food was coming in from all over. Different, different, uh, different people bringing in food. You said at one point the police helped you. Yeah, chief of police. Can you describe Pelham Glassford and how yeah. he helped you? He helped me. Uh, how he helped us? He said, "Look, you're, you're gonna be here for a while. Don't do nothing wrong. I'm gonna give you all you want." Nobody's going to hurt you. And I'm going to help you guys, because he was in the service too. And uh, don't get out of hand. You're going to get the bonus. I don't know how long. But then, you know, he said, behave yourself and be all right. And you can stay here till you get the bonus. Great. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. Can we talk for a second? Sure. Police chief, class for come down and, and helped us. Right. How did he help you, sir? He said, you guys are going to get your bonus, behave yourself, and everything is going to be all right. You said at one point that... during that question, but we had to come before. Okay, but, um, you said before that the poli there were some people with guns. Yeah, coming in with guns and a chief, so, um, could you start out by saying some of the veterans had guns? Some of the veterans had guns. And the chief come down and told him, we know you got guns in there, and some of you guys are communists, and I want you to get, get out of here and get rid of the guns. And what happened? They got rid of them, you know, and some of them com communist people, I don't know. They were hollering about the country, uh, you know, different things like that. Okay, we're out of film. We have to change our role as a Sir, could you start out by saying that some of the veterans brought guns? 
and tell me that story about what Pellin Glassford said to them? He said, I know you got guns here. I want you to get rid of them before you get in trouble. So I got rid of them. Yeah. Could you start out by saying some of the veterans had guns? Yeah, some and of the veterans. And Glassford heard about it? Yeah. Or found out about yeah, it? Yeah, he found out about it. So could you start again and tell me that? Yeah. Start, start again, please. And the chief of police, Godford, found out some of the guys had guns. And he told them to get rid of them. And they got rid of them. Um, can you can you describe how how you lived in the camps? Yeah. Uh, you said you went bathing and that. Bathing, sort of thing. yeah, down in Potomac River. So could you tell me that whole story? How yeah. you just tell me what life was like in in the camps? Everything you could remember. Well, we got food from different places, you know, and we had camps there and they had kitchens there, and we were living pretty good, you know. Well, food was coming in. Yeah. Tell me about how you'd go bathing. Go bathing, uh, uh, put on uh, my shorts and go and bathe. The Potomac River. Uh, okay, cut for a second. So tell me, tell me about the, how you'd go swimming and, and how, how you lived in the camps. I told you before how we lived there before. I told you how. We got food coming in from different places. We had kitchens there, cooks there, and they're cooking up. Kids were coming in and with raggedy clothes and all that. And everybody, people walking there without shoes on. How did you get clean? In the Potomac River. Could you say, uh, could you say, you know, there was no place else to clean ourselves up? But That's we, right. right. Could, you, could you tell me that? Yeah, sure. We'll clean ourselves up in the Potomac River. We have to go swimming there. <laughs> um, you said the police helped you get food. Chief, chief of police, yeah. He helped us with food. Trucks were coming in, he gave them directions where to go, you know. Um, the police are pretty cooperative, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they were pretty good. What, yeah. was, you, uh, what was your opinion of Pelham Glassford? Very good. My, uh, all our opinion. Of course, he come down and he said, look, behave yourself, you're going to get the bonus. But don't stop no trouble. I know people have got guns here. Get rid of them before you get in trouble. Hey, then Waters was the charge of the place, and he sold us out. Waters. Okay, Sir, um, Mr. Pompanini, you, you were. Um, part of the death march around the Capitol. Yeah. Would you please describe that for me? I don't know. We marched around the Capitol, but, uh, and, uh, you know, and hollering and all that. I, I don't understand what you mean. What do you, about the death march? Um, you know when, when you said that people didn't have shoes on? Yeah. Could you describe that? Okay, never, never mind. Um, the the you, there were communists in the camp. Yeah. How did the veterans, other veterans, feel about them? Very bad. They were, I don't know what kind of group that was, but they were hollering about the country, you know, and uh, uh, you people are doing everything wrong. This country's no good, or, you know, all that bull crap. How did the how did the veterans feel about communism? Very bad. Why? Very bad. Why? Why? 
Why? Well, I don't believe in communism, do you? <laughs> no, I'm just trying to get your the opinion of the veterans at that time, of, of the communists that were in the camp. Yeah, yeah. How did the veterans feel about the fact that communists were in the camp? Very bad. I need more. I need more for you to, to, to give me more of your impressions about it. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> okay, we'll yeah. I stop. Um, sir, you said you were a delegate. Um, what did you do as a delegate? Well, we went up there and talked to the congressmen and the senators to pass the bonus. Every morning we were up there. And what kinds of things would you talk about? About the bonus. When we're going to get it and how, you know. We were practically begging for our money. It was all political ideas. A Republican, a Democrat, and, you know. Um, do you remember MacArthur? Yeah. Did you see him? Yeah. Can you can you talk about what you saw when you saw him? Wait a minute. Well, he was against the bonus. He practically he didn't want. He was against the whole damn thing. MacArthur. How do you feel about that? Very bad. <laughs> I forget. Okay. <clears throat> you said at one point that there were these buildings on Pennsylvania Avenue. Yeah. What What would you? You said you got lumber from them. Can you yeah. describe how you built your shacks? Yeah, we got lumber. We got nails from the from the stores and build the shacks up. We got cots coming in there, sleeping on cots. Some people sleep on the ground. Blankets. And how did you how did you um, get clean? How did you wash up? Potomac River. Could you, could you say we there was no place else to? That's right, the Potomac River. Some people go in some houses. We you were know, lucky. Some houses would let them go in and take a bath. But how did you do it? The Potomac River. Okay. <laughs> um, President Hoover said that there wasn't enough money to give the veterans. That's right. How did you, what did you think the government should do? What I think the government should do, give us the money. That's what I, I don't know why. I, where did he get it from? But they, they said they didn't have no money. I don't know. They were broke. They needed money for this and that. Right? How did you feel about that? Very bad. When, when the Congress turned you down, were you angry? Sure I was. We were all angry. We are throwing rocks at everything. Some people said, we're going to burn the... the, the the White House down, the Capitol. Uh, sir, there was a loudspeaker announcement at that point. Yeah. Can you, can you say that Just, again? Wait a minute. This thing too. Okay, hold on. We're going to cut. Very bad. Were you angry? Sure I was. Would you be angry? <laughs> Well, what did people do when they were angry? They start throwing rocks and cursing and all, you know, going out of their mind. You said some people started talking about burning down the White House. Yeah. Tell me about that. Well, they were all angry, you know, and hollering for the bonus. 
they were going to burn up, burn everything down. I, you know, they're going out of their mind. You know what I mean? Okay, thank you. Uh, okay, I don't know where we are. Um, can you tell me what you were like as a person at that time? What, what I was like? I don't know what you mean. Well, at one point you said you weren't scared of anybody. Yeah. Tell me about that. <laughs> were, you, were you frightened to talk to these congressmen? No. Never. Um, let's cut for a second. Um, did you think that the country was in danger with the communists at that time? Were there a lot of communists around? How did you tell me what your feelings were about communism and the communists at that time? Uh, well, my feeling. I, didn't, I never liked the communists anyhow, never. My feeling, I should send them out to Russia. Where, where do you belong? I, were they in the camps? Yeah, they were. They were hollering about this country is no good, you know, and all that. One guy got killed there, you know. What were you most frightened of during this period of time? I don't think I was frightened. Nothing. I wasn't frightened in the war. I wouldn't be frightened there either. No, I don't think anybody was frightened. They were angry, but not frightened. That's good, sir. That's good. Um, did you did you feel that you had tried your best to get the bonus? Very much. Very much. When you were pushed out of Washington, what were your feelings at that time? Well, my, very bad, my feelings. Okay, um, how did you get appointed a delegate? Through the, through the Legion. It made me a delegate because they figured that, uh, I don't know, that they all like me down there. They said, you, you can go down there. And I go with him, hey, with the congressmen and the senators. That's why they made me a delegate. That's great, thanks. Um, can we cut for one second? Second slate. Um, in the 1932 election, Roosevelt ran against President Hoover. Yeah. Um, did you have any feelings about either candidate? I didn't like Hoover. Because <laughs> we had depression at that time, right? And Al Smith ran against him, right? Right? Okay, yeah. And Al Smith was a Catholic. That's why he didn't get in. Right? Okay. Um, what about Franklin Roosevelt when he first ran? How did you feel about him? Very good. Very good. Did you have, did you, did you feel hope? Did you feel excited that there was somebody new maybe that could guide the country? 
Well, not like Roosevelt. The only one we had good was Harry Truman. Um. Slaves there. If you were looking from the top of the Capitol building down at all the veterans in the camps, what would it look like? It looked like a forest, like a forest. You know what I mean? Or people down there, like a. Um, I mean, say, what would you see if you were looking out the White House window and you were President Hoover? What kind of sight would you see? <laughs> kind of sight? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, like a uh, forest. There are all people down there. And they're going mad. Eh? Can you tell me what, what you would see if you were just standing by the side of the Potomac River? People washing up, cleaning up, washing clothes and everything. Down the Potomac River. And why were they doing that? To keep clean. Is there anything else you want to add to this, sir? Uh, anything else you want to tell us that we didn't touch on? No. What about, think. what about MacArthur? How do you feel about MacArthur? Very bad. What did you say about Waters? You were telling me about Waters. He, he sold us out. Waters sold us out. Did he the, give good speeches? What? Did he give good speeches? Yeah, he gave good speeches, then he sold us out. The government bought him over. They give a job in, in the White House.